The snow came early this year, blanketing the copper country and covering up the imperfections created by the Father's Day flood. The snow is like our community, beautiful on the outside, but still in much need of repair on the inside. My name is Devin Carroll, and I want to tell you a story. A hockey story, a story about my family, a story about this amazing community, a story about a goalie, a story about my cousin. Thatcher Allen Markham was born on November 12th, 2005, the firstborn for my Uncle Rodney and Aunt Joanne. He was just a happy kid. He loved hockey, he loved hunting, fishing, just being outside, being with his buddies. He didn't like to be by himself that much, though. He always wanted to be with somebody, just one of his buddies or brothers or cousins or whatever, you know. Like myself and all of my cousins, he quickly fell in love with hockey and fishing. This all stemmed from my grandpa, who would coach hockey all winter and be on his boat all summer while operating his business, Markham's Marina. Thatcher's passion for fishing was immediate. The second he wake up in the morning, we'd still be in bed. He'd come knock on our door. Can I, can I go out fishing? It's like, no, you got to eat some breakfast. You got to wait till somebody's up to keep an eye on you out there. Make sure your life jacket's on, that whole thing. But yeah, any time there was an opportunity, he would go just out on the dock or else with, with myself or with a cousin or somebody, he, his buddies, he would go anywhere and anything. I mean, yeah, it was just always on his mind. He would sit for hours on end watching YouTube videos, um, anything, everything, fishing and, and just uh, looking through Cabela's magazines and be laying on the dock there with a little single hook on there and digging around the yard for worms and catching rock bass and smallmouth bass and perch and anything that would bite and it, he didn't care if it was two inches or two feet long it was uh, just anything and everything he would uh, catch. Even when he wasn't catching he was still hanging off the dock so. Yeah he would we would go trolling out on the big lake and most kids, I mean, you last half an hour and they're just bored and they want to go home and we would go six, seven hours a lot of times and he never once said, let's go home and bored. He just, he would just sit there and soak it all in and he just, he loved it. Hockey is also a bond that holds us all together here in the Copper Country and in this family. We used to come to games to watch my Uncle Ryan play for the Huskies before that dream came true for myself, my brother Tanner, and cousin Blake. Thatcher grew a passion for the game just like us, especially a love for putting on the goalie pads. I have a picture in my purse. He came out of his bedroom. He was probably three or four years old. He had put the pillows from his bed. He's put his legs inside the pillowcases of his pillows from his leg, and he came out with his goal, with a helmet on and a stick and said, Mom, shoot on me. You'd ne he'd never shoot on you. You had to shoot on him, so. He'd always way outlast his, anybody else shooting on him. <laughs> he would cheat, too, though. He would just... <laughs> Get the smallest net he could find, and he would take up the whole <laughs> the thing. The biggest so. pads he could find. <laughs> right. <laughs> Typical goalie, too. We aren't stupid. <laughs> Maybe weird, but not entirely stupid. I always told him you had to be a little bit off. It's a, totally against human nature to throw yourself in front of something coming at you. He was amused at that, and he had no problem doing it. On June 16th, 2018, we went to bed with the sound of rain beating on our roofs. The water never stopped coming that night and filled basements and washed away roads, bridges, and culverts. It also washed away the wall in Thatcher's bedroom. He became trapped under his house and had to be dug out by his dad before being airlifted to Mott's Children's Hospital in Ann Arbor. Thatcher passed away on June 18th. The outpouring of support from our community was overwhelming as the Copper Country pulled together in a great time of need. It's been amazing. I mean, just the time when we were downstate with him after the life flight, and you see pictures and videos of uh, 
hundreds of people at her house, helping out, getting everything cleaned out, and just helping us. And most people, half of them didn't even know us, you know? It was just amazing. And you get back and you see all the people that you haven't seen so much in so long, just uh, say that they just, they feel for us. And it's just, this the sport was amazing. I mean, just still to this day, I mean, people coming out of the woodwork, just, just helping out has been awesome. Yeah, it's been completely unbelievable. People we know, people we don't know from really all over the country and even from other countries have reached out to us. Of course, friends, relatives, the community, church, everything has been so unbelievable and all types of support also. Um, emotional, financial, just helping around at the house, uh, both of the houses now, the one that we're in the process of building and where we're at now, it's been unbelievable with everything. Rod and Joanne made a courageous decision to donate Thatcher's organs so we could live on and help save the lives of many. How did that decision to donate organs come about and how special will it be to someday be in contact with um, the people that help Thatcher help save? I knew right away that that was something I wanted to do that we decided to do then just because he was that way he can help many other people. There were five individuals that received his organs and there were another two that received his eyes um, along with other things that um, he was able to donate that would help others too. And we haven't reached out to those individuals yet, but I do plan to. I haven't had the nerve yet, but we, I definitely wanted to do that to see where they're at. Um, and the individuals that re received his organs, they ranged from like four or five years old up until um, I think the oldest individual was 71 years old. So it's pretty crazy that I can help such a wide range of individuals. And like my sister pointed out that they, those individuals may have a crazy urge to want to go fishing. Now that they received some of his organs, because that was definitely one of his loves. I wonder if they'll be crazy enough to be a goalie. <laughs> I don't think they'll be that crazy. <laughs> it takes a special person. <laughs> I think they said a, uh, the, that four-year-old girl that got his heart, so yeah. it's pretty amazing. Tonight is our Copper Country Strong game, and tonight we will wear jerseys with Thatcher's name on the back. What do you think Thatcher would think of the, my team and the Huskies uh, wearing his name on the back of our jersey? He'd be pumped. He was. He just loved just coming here every chance we would let him anyway and last year coming back from Marquette we uh, had a hockey tournament down there and he was playing uh, the winter carnival game and uh, on the way home we couldn't make it in time for the game because it was uh, the Saturday night game and uh, he was ended up pulling out that win and and you could hear Dirk on the radio saying I wonder who the MVP is gonna be it's, it's gotta be Dev it's gotta be Dev and Three or four of the other boys that I was taking with us, they had fallen asleep in the back there, but Thatcher was right on the side of me in the car. And uh, when they uh, said, oh, it's Devin Carroll, and Thatcher just goes, yes, in the side of the thing there. And he's, all the other boys were sleeping, and he, was, he wasn't going to fall asleep for that. We could listen to the whole game on the radio on the way home, and it was pretty special. He loved, uh, he loved the Huskies, and he loves hockey. Sports are powerful. They have the power to inspire, to unite, in this case, the power to heal. Drake, uh, Thatcher's brother, that's just a year old, younger than him, uh, he's taken over uh, refing like Thatcher did, and uh, he's starting, uh, he started playing a few games already this year and stuff, so that's, that's helped him just get his mind, uh, mind off of stuff and keeps him busy, and, and just, I mean, just with the help and support of everybody and anybody that, uh, that we know through the hockey community around here and even many people have reached out from USA Hockey and everything. It's been, it's been pretty, pretty unreal how, how much people, uh, people care. Yeah, and with Michigan Tech putting this on to help the um, Portage Health Foundation, with, they've been very generous with us and we've been very appreciative of that. And Finlandia team, they have stickers on their helmets along with all the CCJJ players and even other players elsewhere have been um, wearing things to honor his memory and yeah it's been 
pretty unbelievable, even the refing community. Uh, here with CCJJ are wearing stickers for them also, so it's been awesome to see. It's pretty amazing to see all the lives that my cousin Thatcher touched in his 12 years here on Earth. While the gaping hole in our hearts can never be filled, sharing happy stories of our soft-spoken cousin, pulling out a fishing pole and casting it into the water, or lacing up the skates and stepping out of the ice can help ease that pain. On behalf of Thatcher's family, we would like to say that we are very humbled by the outpouring of support we have received from everyone. From our huge immediate family, close friends, to the strangers and everyone in between. From the second this tragedy happened until this very moment, we have been held up by the healing hands and hearts of all you dear people. We don't know why God wanted to take him so soon, and the grieving process has been slow and painful. But as we begin the rebuilding of our hearts and lives, be assured that we could not have done it without the caring, wonderful people of the Copper Country, State, and Country. As you remember Thatcher, as we do, please picture that amazing boy with the amazing smile, just grinning away with a fishing pole in one hand and a hockey stick in the other. We know that there is nothing we can say or do to repay even the smallest amounts of love and help that has been given to us. The best we can do is say from the depths of our hearts, thank you all.